I have the great pleasure to wish His Highness Muhammad Sanusi II a very happy birthday. He has accomplished much in life and I wish him a better tomorrow. I pray that Allah continues to bless and strengthen him. My story with His Highness began in the late 1970s when he was simply Sanusi Lamid Sanusi. I met this brainy young man as a fellow undergraduate at the Ahmad Bello University in Zaria. He was quite self-assured, outspoken in his views, and clear about his future and aspirations. He exuded a modern and progressive charm, and with a clarity of mind that manifested in the erudition with which he expressed himself. Those attributes have remained with him through the decades. He is bold in thought and action. He has come to be recognized as one of the very best that this country has produced. I admire the ease with which he melts the traditional and the modern. His veneration for the life of the mind, his cultivation of knowledge, his dedication to logic and reason, and his proven ability to execute the decisions which the facts compel. His Highness Khalifa Muhammad Sanusi II has stood out as an academic, banker and risk manager par excellence by the time he was in his 40s. He then moved on to become a central banker of global repute, a reform-minded emir, and a distinguished Islamic scholar. As a public intellectual, he has set out clear thoughts for a progressive Nigeria, a vision of rational economic choices and enlightened public leadership. He is a man of gravitas and the most forthright friend anyone can have. Our decades of friendship reflect our mutual admiration and a commitment to being frank and open to each other. He has spoken often about how I make him appear like the moderate, but that can be reassessed and perhaps reinterpreted in reverse, given the things he has said, done, and continued to thrive. I thank him for his friendship and the service he continues to render to Nigeria in general and to the Muslim Ummah as a key leader and Khalifa of the Tijaniya Islamic movement in our country and surroundings. We are particularly grateful for his support for our governance agenda in Kaduna State 